How much we got from all four mamas kind of hard to tell how much that is yeah let's see let's pour it into our one gallon tote uh, yeah about a gallon a gallon and now we got to fill up the bottles because this morning we are bottle feeding wrong way tatum there you go you're doing it Wrong way. Okay. It's always tricky here trying to see which one gets to be let out. <laughs> yes? No? Yes? So for the last 14 years, we have dam raised, which means we've let the mamas raise their babies. And this year, I was kind of on the fence and thought for a second maybe I should switch to bottle feeding just because we have so many at once and it's a lot of effort on my part to make sure that they're all friendly. Bottle feeding is an easy way to make sure that they're friendly. It's just you have to separate at a young age, which is not really something that I love to do. So the plan was that I was going to let the mamas raise their babies and then I was going to keep watch for signs of lopsided udders or unfriendly babies and if I saw that then I was gonna pull them away and bottle feed so far it's been fine I would say like 75% of the babies are super friendly love us climb on us chew on us normal non scared baby goat behavior reminds me of the bird lady on Mary Poppins I know so friendly oh my goodness but we've had a couple that have not warmed up to us as well. The first one is Johnny out of Daphne. He's just a little too standoffish and knowing that he's gonna go to a farm as a breeding buck and he's gonna need to be handled and he'll need to be friendly so that they can clip him or trim hooves or give supplements. We decided to pull him and put him through what I'm calling bottle training boot camp. Okay. Okay. Chip and dip. <laughs> Chip and Johnny, Kevin. Oh. Will he take it? Oh yeah. Okay, let's see. I want to see if Johnny will take it by himself. I love your sandals, Kevin. Yes. Love how you don't wear boots out here. It's just cold. Aren't your toes cold? Yeah. <laughs> so he's been in the barn. We brought Chip along with him. Chip is Olive's buckling that we're raising up to go as a pet. And Chip's here to help teach Johnny how to do it. So Johnny's been watching Chip and he finally caught on. So we can say that Johnny has officially passed the bottle training boot camp and now he gets to go and be out with all the babies. He's warmed up to us, he lets us pet him. And the other two babies that have not passed the friendly test are Tatum's two little twins, Tucker and Lola. Now I kind of suspected that they would be a little bit unfriendly just because Tatum is, she's always been standoffish. Tatum was dam raised and we touched her a lot and pet her a lot her whole life. She's got scratches and treats from us. She has just never quite warmed up to us. And the same goes for Raven and one of Tilly's first kids, Fern. So with the Tilly line, I kind of knew that we might get some skittish standoffish kids and that was the case they shrunk every time we walked we walked up to them really slowly they didn't like to be scratched they didn't want anything to do with us they ran from us so Tucker and Lola are in bottle training boot camp and they've done pretty well good morning time to wake up they were a little scared at first for sure but you just have to have patience and they eventually took the bottle and hopefully they'll pass 
and they can go back out with everybody. But this is just the reality of raising goats. It's the breeder's responsibility to make sure that they are friendly. Nobody wants to pick up a brand new baby goat and then bring it home and have to chase it and have to work with it. If you don't train a baby goat, I would say in the first four weeks of life to be friendly, they have a very high chance of not being friendly all the way through adulthood. So we are going hard at it. We're making sure that all of the babies just absolutely love us and want to be touched and scratched. And those that fight it, get the bottle. And then they learn quickly that, oh, these people are nice. They just need a little bit more training, don't you? Cute little faces. Look at those faces. Oh my goodness. Is it cold this morning? <laughs> The other thing I noticed with Tatum is that the babies were favoring one side and so she's starting to get a lopsided udder and as you guys know, we don't want that because it can ruin an udder for life. Even in just a couple weeks, if the babies favor one side, the other will stop producing and next freshening, next year, it can likely not produce at all again. It's like the craziest thing with raising goats. So we're always really aware, making sure we don't get lopsided udders here and we get equal sized production are you f oh look how friendly you guys are now oh that little shrunk down a little bit there okay let's see if you come over to me here come over here good job see she she shrinks a little bit he's getting better and not being scared at a touch come over here okay a little bit better a little bit oh that's so sweet See? We're nice. You have a very short window for them to learn to be trained to a bottle. After that four week mark, it's probably not gonna happen, so. Now she's sweet and now she loves us. I'm gonna give it a couple more days and then they'll be out with everybody. Huh, you learned that we're nice. We're nice. Dang, Kevin, I keep wanting to say Chip and Dip. <laughs> Chip and Johnny are um, friendly, and then now we've got Tatum's two little ones that are learning how to be friendly, not be scared. So that's it. Daphne's a champ, just feeding those three. Just being a good mama. It's funny how they all just hang out with their babies all day. It's such a balance between wanting them to be friendly and wanting them to not be a biter. So tough. They got some fresh weeds from the garden today, so it is really fun, new stuff to chew on. We've got tons of weeds over here, but now that you see Luna's eating weeds, you think those weeds are better than your weeds? They're the exact same weeds. Luna's really good at eating weeds. You stole a little bite from her. <laughs> Sister came to the rescue. That's pretty fierce right there. Mm hmm. She's tough. Get her off. You win. Oh, now brother is gonna defend the other sister. This is getting very dramatic.